Now, the United States is uh, calling on North Korea to return to denuclearization talks as tensions continue to rise between the two countries. U.S. Special Envoy Stephen Began has made the call in Seoul. And he slammed Pyongyang's demands for concessions by year end as hostile, negative and unnecessary. He says the U.S. has a goal to fulfill, not a deadline. And he stresses that Washington is willing to discuss all issues of interest. North Korea is yet to respond to Mr. Began's call for talks. Our correspondent Lee Myun Sook has more. Mr. Began met his South Korean counterpart Lee Do Hoon for slightly more than one hour in Seoul, agreeing to continue to address the North Korean issue through diplomacy and dialogue. Now, speaking to reporters after their meeting, Mr. Began said that when they last met the North Koreans in Stockholm last October, they offered North Korea any number of creative ways to proceed with feasible steps and flexibility. But with no response from North Korea, Mr. Began in Seoul said it can be done, but not the U.S. alone, offering to talk with the North Koreans. Therefore, here today, let me speak directly to our counterparts in North Korea. It is time for us to do our jobs. Let's get this done. We are here, and you know how to reach us. At the same time, he warned North Korea against conducting a major weapons test in the coming days amid signs that Pyongyang was getting ready to launch a satellite or flight test its long-range intercontinental ballistic missile, the ICBM. We are fully aware of the strong potential for North Korea to conduct a major provocation in the days ahead. To say the least, such an action will be most unhelpful in achieving a lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. But it does not have to be this way. It is not yet too late. We and the North Koreans have within our hands the ability to choose a better path. Now, North Korea in the last few days has conducted two tests, calling them very important or crucial to improve what it says is strategic nuclear deterrent. And that has raised fears North Korea could fire a long-range rocket as a Christmas gift to Washington before the EN deadline expires. But the ruling party said it was hopeful that dialogue will resolve the issue. Some experts say North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un could use his meeting of his Workers' Party's Central Committee scheduled later for this month to reveal his position on this issue. Mr. Began also met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in at the presidential Blue House for about 35 minutes, where he promised the South Korean leader that the U.S. will continue to engage with North Korea and not give up for peace on the Korean Peninsula. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul.